the Zeta of Handicap Chase is race two of the week. And it's a two and a half mile 0 to 140 handicap for all five year olds and upwards. And at the top, we've got St. Hernando for Darren Thompson, who's fallen both times so far this season. We'll be hoping to go a little bit better today. Need a tonic. Craig Beckwith, October Bay. Graham Clutterbuck was a winner last week. Presque Flay, David Robertson. Pizza Hut, Matt Cooper. Sycamine, Martin Lidham. Roller Six, Craig Beckwith. And Alex Cherry's got the bottom two. Ipanema de Moore and Titch Jazz. So a field of nine. The top weight having fallen the last two times means that October Bay, the only winner in the field. So as they get to the first, and oh, there's a four already. It's Pizza Hut's gone. So Pizza Hut is out. The Pizza Hut has no topping at the moment and is heading towards the second riderless. And they get over that one. Okay, and Matt Cooper's not going to finish fifth in this one. He's blazing the trail though, but he hasn't got a jockey on board. And Titch Jazz is now coming through to take it up as they get over the third. And Titch Jazz and St. Hernando. St. Hernando has fallen both races so far this season. We'll be hoping to go a bit better today. Must, must have some form from a previous season to be top weight. October Bay in second. And a gap to the only remaining grey in the race. Presque play. Alex Cherry's got two. Both from his blue cap game. Titch Jazz and Ipanema de Moore. Sycamore is after that one as they take the fifth. And then Craig Beckwith's got the back two. Need a tonic and roll a six. I'm heading down towards the sixth. St. Hernando jumped all okay so far today. With October Bay on his inside. They get out a good jump there by St. Hernando. The one down on his nose was Titch Jazz. Alex Jelly's the other one. Ipanema de Morden jumped. Oh, well, he's gone again. St. Hernando has fallen. So that's the third race on the trot. But St. Hernando has gone. And oh, the handicapper is going to take some pity on him. But it's very difficult to get your handicap marked down when you keep falling. Um, maybe he needs to be given a. Spin over hurdles or something, and October Bay went right through the top of that one. So we've lost the top weight, we've lost Pizza Hut, and we've only got one previous winner left in the race. This one is wide open, really. It's Presque Flay in the lead, and Titch Jazz on the outside. Alex Cherry's still looking for his first winner of the season, unbelievably, into week three as they get over the next. And he's got two chances in seven now. Getting the winner here. For those of you who are betting will probably think it's five to two against to win. And something as they get over the next. <laughs> all over that one okay. And Titch Jazz is the leader. And joined by Nita Tonic, Presque Flay. They're pretty tightly grouped at the top. In fact, they're pretty tightly grouped throughout now. There's only probably about eight lengths, first to last. And they've only got seven furlongs still to race. And down towards the business end of the race. Four more fences to take. And the loose horse is continuing to be in the way, I think, as they get over that ditch. And now the Craig Beckwith pair have come through to challenge for the lead. Roller six and need a tonic. Titch Jazz on the inside of them, then October Bay, then the Grey Presque Flay. Gap of four lengths then to the back two. Ipanema de Moore and Sycamine who probably are out of it as they head down towards the third last. And Craig Beckwith has got a 1-2 at the moment as they get over this one. With Nina Tonic Rossi and Titch Jazz has gone then, so too has Presque Flay. So we've lost two more, we've suddenly only got five left as they head down towards the second last. And Roller Six and Nina Topic are, Nina Tonic rather, are clear as they come down towards the second last from October May and 3rd. There's a big gap then to Ipanema de Moore and Sycamino are trying to run on. Well, why the casualties have been happening in this race? You wouldn't rule against one of the 
front three going yet as they get over this second last and it's Nina Tonic and Roller 6 from October May who's trying to close that one is the top weight left in the race really now but it's Nina Tonic they're over the last and heading towards the final third and Nina Tonic is well clear looks like going to take this handicap pretty comfortably up towards the line Nina Tonic for Craig Beckwith is going to take it from October May and Roller 6 second and third then Sikamine 4 and Ipanema the more fifth and they were the only ones to finish as the rest of them all managed to get rid of their partners on the way round. Craig Beckwith, it's a 1 3 for him, I think. Didn't quite make it a 1 2. But Nina Tonic is the winner for Craig Beckwith. October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck, second. Roller 6 for Craig Beckwith again was third. Sycamine for Martin Linden was fourth. And Ipanema de Moor for Alex Cherry was fifth.